Okay, well I have a new Motor Wars champ and uh, how I'm testing these little motors is with a uh, 5 fed 2.7 volt that I'm overcharging slightly with 3 volt AA battery pack and then I just uh, time how long the little motors will run with the energy that was stored in that super cap capacitor and then because there's an LED usually on the motor uh, there's a load on the system at the same time but on this particular setup I've also got a blocking oscillator running off a pickup coil that's underneath that rotating neodymium magnet and this runs three times longer than anything I've built so far. It runs for about 15 minutes on that energy that's stored in that little supercapacitor. Once again, that's a 5 farad, 2.7 volt. I'm slightly overcharging it with 3 volts. And the runtime on this is now 15 minutes carrying a load. And I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, I think there's something to do with resonance going on here. This is a bifiler coil. Uh, with quite a few turns, hundreds of turns of uh, 30 gauge for the trigger wire and 26 gauge for the uh, power coil, the drive coil. Uh, it's a little um, neodymium ring magnet, diametrically magnetized with the uh, single transistor circuit. I'm using a uh, 10k potentiometer to vary the input to the base off the trigger coil but basically it's just a very very simple uh, trigger coil to the base uh, power coils run off the collector type of affair but like I say this thing for some reason is way way beyond what the other little motors uh, that I've built does carrying a load and that's what's really interesting about this setup here is um, it's an air core coil and with that little neo magnet running above the coil with the load coil, the pickup coil uh, around the ring magnet. And anyway, I uh, just wanted to report on the Motor Wars, and this is the new champion, and uh, like I say, it's beat them all. And uh, the war continues. Thanks for watching.